But we begin here tonight honoring Detective Jason Rivera. The 22-year-old killed in the line of duty received a posthumous promotion at his funeral service today. Thousands of officers stood alongside the roads from Fifth Avenue in New York City to Westchester County saluting Rivera's body as a motorcade carried it to the cemetery for cremation. It followed an emotional memorial for the fallen officer, his loved ones fighting through tears as they told stories of his lifetime dedication to a career in law enforcement. CBS 2's Jessica Moore reports. Thousands of people gathered inside and outside St. Patrick's Cathedral for a moment that arrived decades too soon. Fellow officers draped Rivera's casket in white, as pure as the fallen hero, described as the very definition of integrity and joy, loyal and loving, with a smile that could be seen for miles. In only 22 years, Jason found the woman and the career of his dreams. Many don't accomplish that in their entire lifetimes. The beloved rookie died on Friday, ambushed during a routine call in Harlem. He was a son, a brother, a friend, and a newlywed husband of only three months. His widow, Dominique, wept as she remembered the moment she realized her best friend was gone. Seeing you in a hospital bed wrapped up in sheets, not hearing you when I was talking to you, broke me. I asked why. I said to you, wake up, baby. I'm here. The little bit of hope I had that you would come back to life just to say goodbye or say I love you one more time had left. Family meant everything to Rivera, but fulfilling his childhood dream of wearing NYPD blue meant even more. I can't really put it into words how broken I am, how broken my mother is, how broken my father is. My brother had a lot of fears. My brother was afraid of heights. He was afraid of rats. He was afraid of dogs. He was afraid of dogs. But he wasn't afraid to die to wear that uniform. I love you to the end of time. We'll take the watch from here. Rivera was posthumously promoted to detective and will forever be remembered by a title he never set out to earn, a hero to the entire city. Outside St. Patrick's Cathedral, Jessica Moore, CBS2 News.